Good morning. Um, thank you for joining me. So I'm going to pray and then we're on the 14th day of the second month. So it's Psalm 44 and Proverbs 14. And uh, this page is focused on loneliness. I'm dealing with loneliness right now. So I'm open us in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for creating each of us just because you wanted to and because you loved us because you wanted to spend time with us I pray Lord that um, that as I am dealing with loneliness that you would be the completion of me when I'm feeling lonely that I would lean into you and that whatever I need I would trust that you'd provide it whether it's just being more connected to you or whether you bring people into my life that help fill that void. I pray, Lord, that um, that as, as I um, am in contact with different people, that, that you would um, meet their need for any loneliness they're dealing with. I pray that um, I could serve them in a way that would provide them relief. I pray, Lord, that you would reach out to them and and give them you, Lord, that they would feel you through me, and that if they're dealing with loneliness, they would they would know they could um, get closer to you, and you would provide what they need. I thank you, Lord, that you use us to meet this need of needing companionship that you can do that through us. Thank you, Lord, for music. I love that I can play music and, and help people feel closer to you and more connected and that you've provided me such um, great opportunities for doing that, and I am so grateful, Lord. I pray, Father, that as I yearn for, um, yearn to not be lonely, Lord, that I, I just get so sad sometimes and um, I, um, if you, you don't want it to be taken away, Lord, um, and you want to use it for your service, I pray that you would give me the strength I need to, and to, um, to feel it and persevere and become stronger in you through it. I pray, God, that um, you would bring, bring great joy through my service to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 44, O oh God, we have heard it with our own ears. Our ancestors have told us of all you did in their day, in days long ago. You drove out the pagan nations by your power and gave all the land to our ancestors. You crushed their enemies and set our ancestors free. They did not conquer the land with their swords. It was not their own strong arm that gave them victory. It was your right hand and strong arm and the blinding light from your face that helped them, for you loved them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Israel. Only by your power can we push back our enemies. Only in your name can we trample our foes. I do not trust in my bow. I do not count on my sword to save me. You are the one who gives us victory over our enemies. You disgrace those who hate us. O oh God, we give glory to you all day long and constantly praise your name. But now you have tossed us aside in dishonor. You no longer lead our armies to battle. You make us retreat from our enemies and allow those who hate us to plunder our land. You have butchered us like sheep and scattered us among the nations. You sold your precious people for a pittance, making nothing on the sale. You let our neighbors mock us. We are an object of scorn and derision to those around us. You have made us the butt of their jokes. They shake their heads at us in scorn. We can't escape the constant humiliation. Shame is written across our faces. All we hear are the taunts of our mockers. All we see are our vengeful enemies. All this has happened, though we have not forgotten you. We have not violated your covenant. Our hearts have not deserted you. We have not strayed from your path. Yet you have crushed us in the jackal's desert home. You have covered us with darkness and death. If we have forgot, had forgotten the name of our God or spread our hands in prayer to foreign gods, God would surely have known it, for he knows the secrets of every heart. But for your sake we are killed every day. 
We are being slaughtered like sheep. Wake up, O Lord, why do you sleep? Get up, do not reject us forever. Why do you look the other way? Why do you ignore our suffering and oppression? We collapse in the dust, lying face down in the dirt. Rise up, help us, ransom us because of your unfailing love. So, Proverbs 14. <clears throat> Let me get a drink. Okay. A wise woman builds her home, but a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. Those who follow the right path fear the Lord. Those who take the wrong path despise him. A fool's proud talk becomes a rod that beats him, but the words of the wise keep them safe. Without oxen, a stable stays clean, but you need a strong ox for a large harvest. An honest witness does not lie. A false witness breathes lies. Mocker seeks wisdom and never finds it, but knowledge comes easily to those with understanding. Stay away from fools, for you won't find knowledge on their lips. The prudent understand where they are going, but fools deceive themselves. Fools make fun of guilt, but the, guilt, the godly acknowledge it and seek reconciliation. Each heart knows its own bitterness, and no one else can fully share its joy. The house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the godly will flourish. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. Laughter can conceal a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the grief remains. Backsliders get what they deserve. Good people receive their reward. Only simpletons believe everything they're told. The prudent carefully consider their steps. The wise are cautious and avoid danger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Short-tempered people do foolish things, and schemers are hated. Simpletons are clothed with foolishness, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Evil people will bow before good people. The wicked will bow at the gates of the godly. The poor are despised even by their neighbors, while the rich have many friends. It is a sin to belittle one's neighbor. Blessed are those who help the poor. If you plan to do evil, you will be lost. If you plan to do good, you will receive unfailing love and faithfulness. Work brings profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. Wealth is a crown for the wise. The effort of fools yields only foolishness. A truthful witness saves lives, but a false witness is a traitor. Those who fear the Lord are secure. He will be a refuge for their children. Fear of the Lord is a life-giving fountain. It offers escape from the snares of death. A growing population is a king's glory. A prince without subjects has nothing. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. A peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Jealousy is like cancer in the bones. Those who oppress the poor insult their maker, but helping the poor honors him. The wicked are crushed by disaster, but the godly have a refuge when they die. Wisdom is enshrined in an understanding heart. Wisdom is not found among fools. Godliness makes a nation great, but sin is a disgrace to any people. A king rejoices in wise servants, but is angry with those who disgrace him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I hope your day is wonderful and blessed. Thanks for joining me.